what's going on everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how you can run postgres using docker on your computer so the first thing that you need is you need to have the docker installed on your computer so if you're on mac i already have a video about that it's pretty simple actually for windows it can be a bit tricky but i also have a video for that as well so if you are on windows go ahead and check that out if you are facing any difficulties installing the docker so once the docker is set up on your computer what you can do is you can go to your browser and search for this docker hub or you can simply go to hub.docker.com and then in this search bar here you need to search for postgres and you'll see some results like this we need to select this first one which is the official postgres docker image and from here we can get a various flavors of the postgres and for this video we are going to use the alpine one but if you want to use any other ones you are free to use them but for this video we are using alpine because that is very small image actually a lightweight and uh, yeah so in order to run the postgres with docker what we first need to do is we need to pull the docker image from this docker hub to do that we can simply use the docker pull postgres but we can also use the other command which is we can simply run the docker image directly so when we scroll down to here you will see this command right here go ahead and copy it and open your terminal i'll simply go ahead and paste in your command and if you come here you can see this command simply says docker run so we are going to run an image that's why we say docker run the first parameter here is the name which is going to be the name of our container so it can be anything whatever you like so for example we say postgres dash one and then i'm saying dash e which is the parameter for specifying the environment variable so we need the postgres password as a environment variable so we are just going to set the postgres underscore password equals to password then this dash d specifies that we are going to run this container in our detached mode and the finally name of our image which is postgres but we are going to use alpine so i'm just going to put colon here then say alpine just like this and one last thing that we want to do here is we want to expose the ports so i'm going to say dash p and i'm going to map my 3005 port of macbook to 5432 port of our postgres container so the port 5432 within our container is going to be mapped to 3005 so if i want to connect with my postgres server what i can do is i can use my local host and then use the 3005 as a port so that i can connect to postgres now if i hit enter you can see we get this kind of this hash here this means that the container is up and running so to be sure what i can do is i can run this command docker ps and you can see here we have one container and here is the name of the container which we set which is postgres dash one so now in order for us to connect with this uh, container what we can do is we can say docker exec dash it and then copy this hash from here or you can simply uh, type in the name of the container and then say sh Now you can see I'm within the container. If I say ls, so you can see it's a basic Linux file structure. And now what we can do here is we can simply say PSQL. Hit enter. You can see I get some error which is saying that root role root does not exist. So what I can do is I can say PSQL dash capital U and I want to use the Postgres user. Hit enter. You can see now I am inside Postgres. And if I say slash du and you can see I have one user here which is a super user. And it has all these roles. Now what we can do here is we can say slash I sorry slash L and it will list out all the databases that we have. Now we can also create a database. Let's say create database test hit enter. You can see the command was successful. Now if I say slash L you can see now the test database is also listed as a database here. So this is basic Postgres SQL and uh, now if you know Postgres SQL you can go ahead and play around with it. So yeah this was the basic setup of how you can set up the Postgres SQL on your local machine using Docker. If you have any questions you can comment down below. There are many other ways you can use docker file or docker compose to do the same thing and have more control over what you want to do but this was just a basic setup if you want to play around with postgres sql on local this should be enough for now you can now use this container uh, you can connect to any app for example you have any database tools like uh, table plus you can go ahead and connect your postgres connection with that tool and use the database there or if you are planning to use inside an application like Node.js application, you can definitely do that as well. So this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.